Uh, my name is Mark. I suppose you think that puts me under some sort of obligation to give you mine. <laughs> Yours is uh, Mumford, Donald Allen, newly acquired student, 77601, and your home is Lompoc, California. <laughs> you are faculty. Now, what do I have to do to convince you that I'm not an instructor? Right on the wall, I hate teacher? <laughs> Don't touch. Oh, sorry. Why are you here? Well, you might say that I'm uh, connected with a newspaper. I have no statement to make to the press at this stage of my experiment. Cyclotron? Mm -hmm. Use a magnetic accelerator? They usually do. <laughs> Quite an advanced resonance adapter. You know what that is. Oh, hobby of mine. I've always been interested in atomic structure. This is the only cyclotron in existence with reversible magnetic fields. Uh huh. Then I suppose you could bombard both the proton and neutron at the same instant. Mm -hmm. You see, then I could split the most difficult of atoms. However, it's a very complex theory. I doubt if you could follow me. Well, uh, I'm doing my very best. <laughs> Just wait, I have a power problem. They won't listen. Who won't listen? The university. The university won't let me near their high power equipment. Very short-sighted of them. get, say, uh, 7,000 volts for you, would you consider combining two radically different elements? Well, what atomic weights? 58.94. Cobalt. And? 26.09. Silicon. Cobalt and silicon. Very interesting combination. You could call the new element cellabalt. I prefer that to cocon, which really sounds like a new soft drink. <laughs> It's a marvelous experiment. How soon can you deliver power? Oh, um, about any time now. 7,000 volts? 7,000. 8,000? 8,000. 9,000? Sold to the highest bidder. 9,000 volts a day. <laughs> All that remains, partner, is to throw the switch and syllable. Donald! Uncle Martin! It's nice to be known, but if you will excuse us, Donald and I are in the middle of a very important experiment. Half of the faculty is looking for that little boy. You know this, this atomic Fagan? Miss Carter, he had nothing to do with this. Could we discuss this some other time? Whatever you're doing, you better quit right now. Maybe we can put all this equipment back before Dr. Jackson finds it. I'm telling you, we haven't much time. Oh, she's right, Uncle Martin. We've got to get out of here. Not till we finish our experiment. It's just a coil. Oh, maybe the chamber. Somebody must have pulled the wrong switch. Well, it's a good thing Dr. Jackson didn't see this. Yes. Isn't it? Isn't it just? <laughs> you have violated every college regulation, and we cannot tolerate this behavior any longer. We are forced to terminate your studies at the university. Oh, uh... You're welcome to use your room in the dormitory until 8 a.m. Monday, and a detailed report will, of course, be sent to your grandparents. Yes, sir. Goodbye, Miss Carter. Thanks for everything. Goodbye, Donald. Goodbye, Dr. Jackson. Goodbye, Mumford. Mr. O'Hara? Donald. Uncle Martin, it's been a privilege working with you. It's been a privilege for me, Donald. Oh, uh, by the way, you might ask Donald to look at the university's new cyclotron. That will prevent it from becoming obsolete before it's built. Coming, Tim? Uh, Miss Carter, have Mumford's bags moved from the dormitory to my home? Yes, sir. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button.